Hey everyone, it's Owen here from Hotech, and I'm back with another motherboard to unbox. This time is the MSI B150M Night Elf. Uh, so let's take a look at the box itself. Again, like the previous MSI motherboard, it has this white finish on the board. It's on the box itself, and this time it has some like old school graphics. I would say. Anyways, let's take a look at the back itself. And you can see there's the MSI motherboard picture again. And there's also a bunch of marketing stuff like gaming DNA, audio boost, and etc. And you can see the specifications for the motherboard itself and also the IO port highlights. So let's take a look inside. Right away, as the previous motherboard, you can see that. The motherboard itself is on top inside an anti static rack. But let's take a look at the accessories first. So, here it is there's a warranty card. This is just for Indonesia because I bought this here, obviously. So, next is the registration card and also a thank you letter, I guess. And there's also the driver disk, which you shouldn't use and just download off the website. And then there's the IO plate. Which again is finished in black, which is what I'm, which is what I prefer these days because most cases have black paint and this would go really well. And next is the SATA connectors, cable for the motherboard to the hard drives, and then there's the quick install guide, which is pretty easy to understand. And lastly, there's this user user manual, I guess, user guide. Uh, this time it's thinner and it's just English, I think. Because I have no idea why. Anyways, let's take a look at the board itself now. Take it out of the wrap. So here it is. And right off the bat, you could see that there's something unique in this board, which is it has LEDs on the board itself. So how it works is that MSI basically just extended the board a little bit because you can see that there's basically no more traces up until up to this point and this part is just basically for LEDs and aesthetics and at the back you can see the rows of LEDs just beside the branding on the board and the board itself is translucent so when you power up this board it'll have the light coming off the LEDs and then bounce back from the case and light up the logo here so what else is here you can see MSI fitted some large heat sinks for the VRM. I'm guessing that this is the integrated GPU VRM and this is the CPU VRM, but and but this isn't an, an overclocking board, so no idea why MSI used such huge VRM heat sinks, but probably just to show off and look good, I guess. Anyways, this is the chipset heat sink, which also looks good with some red accents and some black paint. And you could see that MSI fitted all the board with PCIe slots all around instead of the old school PCI slots which some board used to have. So here it is, the PCI X16 which is connected to the CPU and two PCI X1 3.0 slots connected to the chipset and one PCIe X4 3.0 slot to the chipset. So you could do crossfire with this board if you have a case that has five slots MATX case should I mention but yeah it's, it's not gonna be ideal because it's gonna go through the chipset and the DMI and then to the CPU but you could do it if you want then MSI has four RAM slots on this board which is nice to see because that means you can expand your storage and start with dual channel and the board itself is pretty standard I guess with six SATA ports and let me count uh, one, two, 
three and yeah basically three fan headers and the CPU 8 pin is over here and the USB plugs are over here and also over here for USB 3 and the 24 pin is over obviously over here and you could also see the audio boost uh, circuitry over here with the separated PCB which also lights up uh, if you want more bling but obviously you can also disable that in the BIOS uh, for the IO there's a PS2 port for a combined PS2 port actually two USB 2, some USB 3 port, a DVI single link and an Intel NIC for the Ethernet port and also 7.1 audio out outputs and the back of the board is pretty bare and just has has the features stamped on the back and yeah that's basically it oh and it has some really nice matte black finish on the board itself so it'll look good and basically any build but yeah that's about it you guys just take a closer look And yep, that's it for this unboxing and thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos and that'll be it. Hey everyone, it's Owen here from Otech and today I'm going to unbox this MSI H110M gaming motherboard which is a, a pretty cheap but gaming oriented motherboard.